Deputy President David Mabuza is visiting the Northwest Province today in his capacity as chairperson of the Interministerial Committee on COVID-19 Vaccines. Now, this is to engage on interventions aimed at ramping up the vaccine rollout program. And that's where we find our reporter, Bafedile Mwerane, who is at uh, the Rustenbeck Centre. Uh, Bafedile, good morning to you. So what's uh, expected to happen there today? Well, of course, good morning to you, Koli. We're expecting the Deputy Minister to come here precisely at Rustenburg CBD. This is the platinum belt, and it's regarded as the hotspot here in the Northwest. Hence, one of the reasons the Deputy President is coming here to lobby and to encourage, in particular, young people to take a vaccination. We understand that up to so far, over 700,000 have been uh, vaccinated in this uh, particular province. And and the province, it is actually intending to vaccinate over 2 million residents here in the Northwest province. But however, it looks like um, the vaccination program is going slowly. The people are quite reluctant here in the province. Hence, we're seeing these uh, particular uh, uh, programs taking you know, place. So I have invited the MEC for Health in the Northwest, Madoda Sambata, to talk to us about this program and also the vaccination rollout in general here in the Northwest Province. MEC, thank you so much for joining us here at Newsroom Africa. Today we're seeing the Deputy President coming here with other ministers, including the, the Minister of Health, Dr. Joe Pata. How is the vaccination rollout in the province? Thank you very much, uh, Newsroom. We are hosting the Interministerial Committee on Vaccination is chaired by the deputy president. It's moving around across South Africa. It's focusing for now in three provinces, Northwest, Gauteng, and Bumalang. And it's on the basis that the three were identified nationally to have lower vaccination rate. In the province, as we speak of now, we had vaccinated over 739,000. And this vaccination is meant in the province to cover 2.7 million people by end of December. If that's the case, the focus now is on encouraging and ensuring that people are motivated to register and then take up the vaccination because the vaccination is the only way that will help us finally have the formal, normal and open up movement of people across the, the country and in the province. So the deputy president is leading the interministerial committee, which has all the ministers serving in the IMC on vaccination. They are in this province. Last week they were in Houting. I don't know when they will be in Bumalanga, but on ourselves it's meant to encourage. Remember, in the province, Bujanala hosts the highest number of the population of residents of the province. Secondly, it was the highest number of the population of COVID infected. It is one of the areas if we were to have more people coming up for vaccination, it would give us an extra number of people that we need. If you check, between uh, 18 years and 50, it's 2.5 million people who are a target. If we were to just mobilize that 2.5 and we already have 739, it means we will be far above our number expected. That's why the Deputy President is here, and that's why the command council led by the Honorable Premier, Rema Abe, is also here in ensuring that we work together with the IMC. Up to so far, MEC in the province, how many vaccines do we have? Vaccines available is that we're using uh, Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson. Both of them have enough vaccinations available. Now, in the province, what, we, what is the reflection is that of the people who are registered to vaccinate, 81% of them do vaccinate. What it means is that we don't have a problem on actual vaccine uptake. We have a problem of the number of people who then register for vaccination. That's why we must mobilize people to come in for registration. If registration increases, that 81% on more people is going to give us the number we need.
Well, thank you so much, MEC Koli. There he goes as contextualizing the numbers in the northwest. So far, we've got about 6,765 active cases. And uh, with Dr. Kenneth Kaunda there in Clackstop leading with 2,659 cases. And Bujanala, where we are, it's 1,000. 254 and you hear him saying that they are taking different approaches in trying to mobilize in particular young people uh, and also the age of 18 to 50 you know to vaccinate and so far it's over 700,000 of the people who have vaccinated and they are targeting to vaccinate over 2 million in the northwest Bafedile Morane, thank you very much for that update. We'll keep touch with Bafedile as and when the Deputy President touches down in the Northwest.